made some news out there, ma'am. Miss? Yeah, You're I pregnant. was gonna put it on my Instagram, then I was like, well, this feels shameless, but I'm a shameless performer. <laughs> and they're asking me what I'm gonna do next, and it's like, eh, it seems like relevant to talk about the body that I'm growing. For sure. <laughs> do you have a due date or anything? Or <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a early April. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. But also, congratulations on little statue you got. My real baby. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to win? This feels so f***ing good. Surreal. I'm, I'm so happy to be winning with these guys. It's awesome. No, it feels great. It feels great. I kind of feel shock. I felt so much gratitude being nominated because it's a peer group category. So it's, you know, voted on only by the people who work in the in music and, and TV and it felt like an unreasonable thing to ever even dream of to get nominated. And then to win feels like I'm, this must be some sort of alternate universe. Go clink the Emmys together. I, know, <laughs> I love right? it. He's got a Adam, Adam Emmy already gear. has two Emmys. So what is, Adams, what's your plan for like, how are you going to rearrange your bedroom to fit this third? I'm actually working out a deal with Aline. She may purchase it from me. <laughs> <laughs> And the song you won for, Andy Depressants, are not a big deal. I know I'm messing up the title, but I'm close. Yeah. Um, but how did it feel to win for that particular song? Because it means, it means a lot to a lot of people. This felt really special. This song was really the culmination of like four years of, of us finding the balance between the com comedy songs, which, which we know very well, and like how deep do you get into sincerity, and when, especially when you have a song that has a message like this song, really uh, tonally writing that line. And I don't think we could have done a song like this in the first season. And this song especially has meant so much to so many people. And it's, it's really, really special. It's really special. And the tap dancing was really hard. <laughs> and so it feels great to be rewarded for that. <laughs> And the course of the show, it's really like opened up the talk about mental health, especially for women, especially with friendships and things like that. How does it feel to you on this final season, win an award and know that you've made a bit of a difference with the show? I mean, that's, I think that when we've been doing the live shows, that's that's one of the craziest things is the reaction from the fans, right guys? I mean... It's true. It's amazing. I mean, we, we were sort of working in a vacuum for all this time and we weren't sure if anyone was even listening to these songs and to then to go and see actual people sing them back to us and tell us that they meant something to them. It's, I mean, that, it is the ultimate reward. I mean, Adam and I come from doing, from like rock music and all that does is help people get drunk and do drugs. And so <laughs> the doing something like this that <laughs> helps people feel good and uh, maybe even uh, make some progress in their own lives the way that you know we have then, then that's amazing because I watched the live special and like getting by was like like everyone was out on their feet it was yeah. a total anthem for people now oh the the numerous the people who've told us that they've come out to get in by which is really the masterpiece of Mr. Adam Schlesinger no no a, gr a group effort it's, it's, it's always a group effort but, <laughs> but, but, but I just want to give him kudos for that um the pe people who've used stupid bitch to to cope with their own feelings of self-hatred, people who've since used the song The Darkness to cope with how to get better. It's touching the fans and doing those live shows where we get to meet the fans and see them get affected by it. The songs really take on a new life live. I do want to add that this is a really an honor just to be associated with both of these people, and not let alone to be able to work with them all the time, to be included in this, to be included in all the opportunities that Rachel and her co-creator, Raleen Brosh McKenna, created by creating the show and continuing, uh, you know, to put out episodes, stories that and characters that were interesting and that had something to sing about. So this is an amazing opportunity that I don't expect to ever replicate. And I was going to ask, well, what's next for you now that you won an Emmy? I'm a good it's all downhill from here. Go to the party. <laughs> go to the party. <laughs> have a baby. I'm going to have to take a, well, maybe I'm going to have to take a paternity test because one of them is the father and we don't know yet. And that. And that's our next, our next new show. show. That's a yeah. new show. Yeah. It's a musical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my musical dad. Yeah. <laughs> my musical dad. Yeah. Okay. There okay. it is. Okay. So. There it is.